Hey everyone, welcome back to the cave. Today I'm gonna show you how I built this heat box that is right behind me. When making bows, and specifically laminated bows, most bowyers use an epoxy called EA40. EA40 is a clear epoxy that is really good under compression and tension, so it makes perfect epoxy for bows. But to cure it properly, the manufacturer recommends to have a heat box that is around 150 to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Another benefit of a heat box is it really speeds up the curing process quite a bit from 24 hours down to six hours. If you're looking to make a heat box, this video will be very beneficial to you because I drew up on SketchUp plans for this and I think they look pretty cool. That software's pretty awesome and it's free online so you can download my SketchUp plans if you want those to follow. If you're not interested in getting that deep into the weeds, I also made a free PDF for you guys with the cut list of every piece of wood that I cut and also a material list. There's quite a few little materials, things that you might forget, so if you want that at handy, you can download that free from the description below. If you're new to my videos, thank you for being here. My name's Kramer, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now let's get right into the build. I put a spacer so that the front door when it closes will be closing on top of this piece of plywood hopefully providing the best seal possible to retain the most heat on the inside of this box. Also due to the weak-ish half inch plywood I went ahead and cut some 2x4s to just put in the corners to add a little bit more support. I went with a half inch plywood because it was a little cheaper than the 3 quarters inch although with 3 quarters inch I doubt you would need that support but since I'm making a pretty big 80 inch box. I think the supports in the corners will not interfere with anything and they'll just help keep the box a little bit more rigid. Before I throw this whole thing up on the wall, I'm gonna go ahead and wire it in. I've got these little, what are these called? Keyless lamp holder. We are gonna put four of these up and you can use incandescent light bulbs to heat up this bow oven or heat box. And that should be enough, that should be sufficient in order to get it hot enough. We're probably shooting for a, in between 150 and 180 degree temperature in order to cure the glue or epoxy within four to five hours. So I got all four wired in. I'm gonna wire it into a switch and then I'm gonna run that to the outlet so that it'll always be plugged into the outlet but then I can switch it on and off right here at the heat box. But first, before I wire that all the way in, I wanna to try to get this up on the wall which is maybe gonna be a little bit difficult by myself. Last time I tried to hang a sign, it took me far too long. Why do I do things the hardest way possible? And this is much bigger than a sign. No reason to play around, let's just get right to it. So the heat box is 80 inches, and we've got this ductwork right up here that we're gonna need to deal with. And if I bring it under the ductwork, it's gonna come right here, which would be 16 inches out. It's gonna be right there. That's really gonna mess up my workspace. And I don't want to do that, so I want to raise it up higher. In order to raise it above this ductwork, I'm going to need to move it over here to the left a little bit. From the wall, yes, I should be able to fit 80 inches. So I'm going to bump it up against the wall, raise it up to there, maybe even 
a little higher than this. I might actually just throw the heat box on top of this for a dead man to hold it and then I can prop it up here while I drill through the concrete and through the, the box into the wall. Yeah, that's the best option so that I can glue up right here on the table and once I'm done gluing up, I can just put it in the heat box and then that actually gets me closer to the outlet, which our cord was a little short, so that'll work out really good. Yes, 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 yes. This is gonna hold the box on this side, and then over here, that should hold the other corner. Hopefully that'll hold it in place and that's not gonna fall. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That easy? Yeah, that's perfect. Then I'm not gonna ever hit the light bulbs because they're up so high. That's why I made it so tall, because I don't want to accidentally bump the light bulb putting the forms in. It should be deep enough to put at least three forms in at once. And there's probably not really ever going to be a time where I'm going to be wanting to put in more than three bows at once. Yes! So much better to use your brain than your... It's time to see if I actually know anything about electrical. Just plug this in, flip the switch, and hopefully it turns on. Hey, that's a good feeling. You can see that the lights are on. That's really good news. So, the last step we've got is to insulate it. And some people say you can use like just tin foil. I'm gonna use this. It's kind of like bubble wrap tin foil. I don't actually know. Reflectix. So excited to be able to make some of these laminated bows. I just. Ugh. The heat box is now complete. Let me show you its features. Here she is, and I think it turned out really well. Here's the light switch, still need to get a cover, but that turns on and off the heat box. This is to hold the door up. Come over here, all you've gotta do is release the hinges. That one came undone, and then, whew, there she is. Got a hole drilled, pipe goes into, Bring it on up, and it just holds steady there. Flip on the light. And there we go, we've got a heat box. Something I wanted to make sure happened is that the insulation up here on the top will come in contact on this bottom board, the sides, and the top. And that creates a really good seal, especially with these latches that pull it tight. That keeps this box from leaking heat. Got it deep enough that I can fit probably at least three bow forms in. 
the lights are up high enough that I'm not really gonna hit any light bulbs unless I'm doing something crazy. And there the heat box is. I'm blessed with this shop, but the square footage isn't massive and when you fill it up with power tools, it fills up really quick. So I'm happy to have it mounted up on the wall right over the gluing station. That should make it easy and efficient and out of the way. Thank you guys for being here. If you need a bowstring, go to KramerAmmons.com and you can buy one there. If you wanna see more bow builds or traditional archery tips or everything traditional archery, you're in the right place. Hope to see you guys soon. See you later.